Hello there, everybody. I'm Mel Allen, and this is Baseball Collection. Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and welcome to my Hall of Fame Relics Showcase. I really enjoy doing showcase videos. Uh, they're typically really long, which I know can be uh, difficult, but it allows me to show parts of my collection that normally kind of don't come out. And uh, it, it, this is definitely an area that is not talked about, I think, a lot in the hobby, and that's relic cards. And it's because they become so commonplace and relatively inexpensive and don't have a ton of value. And that's even true for some Hall of Fame relic cards, but by and large, there's a lot of these guys that have relics that are incredibly rare and they only have a few of them and I, I find it fascinating. One thing I love about relic cards in general is it's a connection to the player, much like an autograph is uh, when you have a relic, it's something the player held i.e. a bat or something the player wore. I know there's a lot of controversy out there as to whether or not some of these, especially the old timer stuff, is really game worn jerseys of such and such player. And I try not to get too hung up on that and worry too much about that because at the end of the day, you know, what do we really know about any of it? And so it, it it's a connection even still uh, for the modern guys, you don't worry about that kind of stuff very much, but uh, for the older guys, you do. And, you know, did Ruth really wear this jersey or, or play with this bat or Gehrig or some of these other guys? And, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think they're still cool pieces of cardboard, cool pieces of history. Uh, I, I do think it's kind of a shame that amazing relics have been chopped up and sliced up and diced up and put into baseball cards, but. I didn't make that decision long ago, so I'm just going to embrace it and it's going to be a part of my collection for a long time because I just love the Hall of Famer stuff. To me, it has enduring value. It has uh, once a Hall of Famer, always a Hall of Famer. So that's really where I focused these relic cards and, and picking up different sets and just doing different things. So I hope that you enjoy this. Uh, let me know what you think as we go through it. Uh, it's a little bit long and but that's okay. It's just looking at baseball cards. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll catch you guys in a second. Here we go. Yo and hello everybody. Mike here, baseball collector. It's Sunday morning and I'm going to do a tabletop showcase of my Hall of Fame relics. I got a great response from everybody wanting to see this video and it took me a long time to get everything pulled. And when I did, I looked at it like this and I'm like, holy crap. Uh, this is all the relics that are Hall of Famers that I'm going to be laying out on the table. It may take more than one tabletop laying because they're all going out here. And let's have some fun putting them out and showing them to you. All right, here we go. Here's what you get to look forward to. Here's the table. Literally filled the whole thing with Hall of Fame relic and relic auto cards. Anything with a relic on it is here. Uh, there's approximately 350 cards on this table. So that'd be a cool table at a show, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of neat to see that. So got lots of sets and stuff you'll see. And so let's just get right to it. Um, I apologize in advance. I'm in the dining room, which has a lot of natural light coming in and Therefore, there's going to be some glare with the lights and everything. So, apologize one time for that. Try not to. All right, so I'm going to do my best here to show two rows at a time just to keep it simple. I may have to do some cuts uh, just because of the sheer hardness it is to get all of this shot. And uh, so, I'm not going to talk about every player, but I'll talk about some as we go along. And again, you'll see relics and dual relics and all sorts of cool stuff from great sets. I'll point out some things. You got Hank Aaron up there, a couple of Jersey cards and a bat card, a couple of Roy Campanella's. I love the Hall of Fame heroes that uh, Donruss did. They put some old relics in there. 
There you see some uh, Carews and Walter Alston, Gary Carter. That's Earl Averill up there, the Earl of Shino, Shim, Shonamish, or what? I don't even know how to say it. Um, but Panini does a good job on the relic cards. They really do. Because the lack of logos matters so much less on Panini stuff. That one at the bottom center right now, the Tops 206, Jimmy Collins, is most likely not Hall of Famer Jimmy Collins, but... You know, there were a lot of Jimmy Collins back in the day, so most people don't think that is. And then up next to Harold Baines, the GOAT, is a, a card of Frank Baker and Babe Ruth. That's a Frank Home Run Baker relic card. So continuing on, you got Wahoo Sam Crawford, Joe Cronin, Yogi Berra, Johnny Bench, Bagwell, couple of Andre Dawson's. I love the dual relic cards. So you got Dawson and Reigns right there. Dizzy Dean and Bill Dickey, Jim Bottomley. All the way down here to the end of the first row. Brett, Roger Bresnahan. Johnny Evers. Let's move on to row two. All right, you start with Bob Feller up there, some Raleigh Fingers, Harry Heilman at the bottom, Heilman Simmons, I love those. Fisk and Ricky, Whitey Ford, Nelly Fox, Billy Herman. I love the all-star relics too that they started doing. I love those, there's the Trevor Hoffman down there. Jimmy Fox, Frankie Frisch. I love the variety of relic cards. I just think both designs and swatches that they put in there are so, so cool. You get different colors, like look at the powder blue Fergie Jenkins Rangers jersey right there. Lefty Gomez, little Randy Johnson, Goose Gossage. Addy Joss is a tough one. Wee Willie Keeler, I left the nickname ones, Wee Willie. At the top there, you got uh, Hank Greenberg, Ralph Kiner, and Billy Herman. Another Greenberg multiplayer. George Kell, George Kelly, Griffey, Vlad, Killebrew, Kiner, Gwynn, Koufax, Halliday, Continuing on, we got La Russa and Murray and Lasorda, Tony Lazari, Mariana, or not Mariana, Mike Messina, Musual. Sorry also about the shakiness, but this isn't easy. Freddie Lindstrom, that one on the top is actually one I got yesterday. It was one I needed, so part of the inspiration for this video. I got two more coming that I need. Lombardi and Lions and Greg Maddox, Herb Pennock, Tony Perez, there's Mantle. Here, I'll move, center that up a little better. Mantle at the top center there, number to 75. Mike Piazza, Edgar Martinez, Puckett, Reigns, Pedro. There's Willie Mays at the top, Mazeroski, Jim Rice, Sam Rice, Pee Wee Reese, John McGraw, Mariano Rivera, Marvin Miller, new Hall of Famer. That's a card I got from Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. Joe Medwick, Johnny Mize, Bill Rizzuto. Down in the center there is a Brooks Robinson card. That's actually a stadium relic. And I only have it in here. I don't usually collect those, but I got it in a pack a long time ago from Topps Heritage. Frank Robinson. 
couple of pudges, although I literally have hundreds of more pudge relics. I just put a few of them out here just because they were in another box. <laughs> so there's uh, Morris and Molitor. And got some more nice ones here on this row. We got uh, Ed Roush and Don Sutton. Bill Terry. There's my two Ruths right there. I've got an old tier one and a leaf immortal collection Ruth. Nolan Ryans and Jim Tomey, Joe Tinker, Joe Torrey, Arky Vaughn, Sandberg, Santo, Schmidt, the Wainer brothers, Weaver, Zach Wheat, Tom Seaver. Cool Billy Williams patch there from the A's, but he's in a Cubs uniform on the card. George Sisler, Al Simmons, Hack Wilson, Ted Williams. Just more and more. Ozzie Smith. Is Trimsky. Tom Yawkey even has his own relic card. He's a former owner of the Boston Red Sox. So it's got to be like from a shirt or something similar to the Marvin Miller card because he never played. But so there we go. More Smoltzes and Snyder, Robin Yount. So starting along the bottom here is a set. Several I have several Panini sets that you're going to be seeing now. These are great, awesome sets from Immaculate and some other products that they have where they put just so many awesome Hall of Famers. I mean, Wagner and Page and Cobb, Stengel. Very, very, I've got most of them all, in fact, they're all complete. So that took a long time. Uh, let me finish up here with Suter and then we'll start showing those off. Rogers Hornsby, Mel Ott, Jimmy Fox again, Burley Grimes. All right, let's move to the next row. All right, we got Speaker and Gehrig. You see two Gehrigs there, top and bottom. Gabby Hartnett, Jackie Robinson, Eddie Matthews, DiMaggio, Ryan again, Maddox. So I just kept these sets together instead of putting them into the alphabetical order. I just I wanted to keep the sets together because that's how I'm gonna put them back in my collection. Bill Dickey. But you can see like the Bill Dickey down there is number two or three. Some of these are really low numbered. Schmidt, Carew, Gwen again, DiMaggio, Fox, another Gehrig down there, number 10. Lefty Gomez, number to five, Clemente, another Cobb, Frank Chance, another Gehrig, another Pennock. That George Kelly down there is a one of one. Those are cool. Kind of a platinum version. There's another set you'll see in start there at the bottom called the Legends set. You got Mantle in that one. Usual. Drysdale and Feller. Let's see. Pee Wee Reese, Jackie Robinson again, Honus Wagner. So you're seeing a lot of names duplicated but different sets and always cool you know I'd love really any, any relic but I prefer jerseys for sure you see a couple of Ted Williams another Ruth there's a Miller Huggins manager for the Yankees a Nap Lajaway Max Carey Ernie Banks Another Clemente. One more row, guys. Here's the last row. It'll be by itself. We got uh, Cronin and Kyler. Dickie, DiMaggio. Uh, DiMaggio's number to three. DeRocher, Gore. Feller. Rick Farrell, Nellie Fox, Lou Gehrig. That's a one on one. You can see the shine on it on the lefty Gomez. Right there. 
Harry Hooper Killer Brew K line. Ted Lyons, George Kelly. A lot of these were hard to find, quite frankly. They're so low numbered, you know, number to ten or something, and or the mantle right there is numbered to seven. So tough, tough to get them. I had to be patient when I saw them, I had to jump on them. You got a blue version and a regular version there. You can see the mutual versus the regular version. The new Hauser to the right, number to five, is the blue version. And then there's a platinum one, the 101s, which I only have one of. Pinnock, Reese, Robinson again. Another Babe Ruth bat. Snyder. Spawn. Getting really towards the end. Wagner, again, the Wayner brothers. Ted Williams. I only have a couple of uh, slabbed relics. I don't have very many of them. Not for any other reason than I don't focus on that. Regular relics is just fine. But I got a Greenberg and a Reese there. I so miss Upper Deck and Upper Deck making cards because they did so many of these awesome relic cards and lots of legends, lots of stuff. So as I pan back, Slowly to get back to our original starting spot where I can just show everything with hopefully the least amount of glare. There you go, guys. There's the whole table of relics. Now I get to put them all away. If <laughs> I take some time to put them all away. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down below. Maybe some favorites or what you thought. I appreciate it. What your thoughts are on relic cards. That would be cool too. So everybody have a great day and keep collecting.